What's up guys? I'm not in a great mood for this video. I'll be honest with you. I have some stuff already shot for this week and um, I have a bunch of stuff written down that I want to be covering. I would love to be talking about Gabe Lee's album Honky Tonk Hell in a more full way or Jesse Daniels' new great album Rolling On or the Jordan Davis single or Wade Bowen and Randy Rogers or I mean literally a lot of stuff. That This whole page of people is stuff I'd like to cover. But it just doesn't like feel right to do it right now because country music's just been in a bad way and I want to talk about it on the channel because we're losing some really big people. And that's what this video I just wanna I wanna mention. And I don't wanna edit this and I don't want like the first time I really talk about Joe Diffie to be some slick video when I haven't really covered him on the channel before. Something just feels really gross about that. Before we start, I will just say, like, I've been doing a lot of my processing about quarantine and the state that we're in as a country. Over on the Patreon, I've just been doing what I'm calling fireside chats, just little, like, 10, 15-minute podcast check-ins. I'm not trying to, like, shake down the tree right now and get money from everybody, but, you know, those people are supporting me through a time where ad rates on YouTube are going crazy, and... You know, uh, so it's open even if you're like at a dollar a month. I've just been posting like every other day basically over there. And that's been where I've been processing some of my raw feelings about about everything happening. I also do want to say that tomorrow night on the channel, and I don't know when you're watching this, but Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time, I'm going to be doing a live stream. I'll be in a better mood then. We will talk to Ashley McBride. She's going to be Skyping in to the live stream. I'm going to talk to her about her new album, Never Will, and interview her. So if there's anything you're dying to know, leave it in the comments down below, and I'll be I'll try to ask it. We have a limited amount of time, but I'll try. I should be in a better mood just because, like, I am. There's a lot I can feel thankful for in my life, but just this week, first we lost Kenny Rogers. Now, you might know Kenny Rogers as the singer of The Gambler, Coward of the County, He's got other great songs, stuff like Lucille, Sweet Music Man. You may just know him as Dolly Parton's, you know, good friend and constant duet partner on songs like Islands in the Stream. We got something going on. But he passed away. And he was kind of like everyone's cheerful uncle in a way. Everyone liked Kenny Rogers. And his smooth voice and his just he was likable he was likable whether as an actor or as kind of a soft pop country singer that just sucked it sucked to see dolly parton the unflappable positive dolly parton crying holding his picture on instagram just happened to have this picture when i walked out this morning of of us i walked out and i thought well maybe i'll hold that up to everybody so i know you're sad as i am but uh god bless you can you fly high straight to the arms of god and to the rest of you, keep the faith. So yes, that sucked. You know, they sang a song together called You Can't Make Old Friends. That is one of my very, very favorite songs. It's like an ode to friendship. But you can't make old friends. Almost seemed like they were prepping for, you know, one of them to die. The song deals with mortality. But I listened to that and just kind of wept when the news about Kenny came out. And then this week... Not only did we have Jan Howard pass away. Jan Howard, you might not be familiar with her. To be frank, I got to know her in the Ken Burns country music documentary. She was 91 years old. But I really appreciated her input within the documentary. She was super charming. Um, but she'd been like a, a Grand Ole Opry star for almost 50 years. She passed away. And then Joe Diffie, uh, two days ago now, passed away. Joe Diffie is someone that, you know, if you've watched the video on this channel with my parents, my dad went through a country phase when I was really little, like four or five years old. And he only listened to country for like three years, but Joe Diffie would have been one of the characters in that sort of early to mid-90s country neo-traditional boom, where you had people like John Anderson and Randy Travis come along and get really popular. And Joe Diffie was totally in that mix as well. And he has so many of your favorite songwriters or favorite singers, favorite singer. Um, you know, he was an everyman. He was kind of Luke Combs before there was a Luke Combs in a way. And I know they even, Joe Diffie even is the person that inducted Luke Combs 
into the Grand Ole Opry. He had a big kind of like Jeff Foxworthy mustache, and he sang songs like John Deere Green and Pickup Man. Just like about a pick up man. And there's a really great song of his called Bigger Than the Beatles, Ships Don't Come In. He had a bunch of hits, and he kind of burned bright. And for him to be gone and just to see, you know, everyone lamenting it. And yes, Joe Diffie passed away at 61 from freaking trucks this is what i usually just cut out of videos just people that love taking their muffler off on the hill for right right out here i mean joe diffie you've heard name dropped in songs like 1994 by jason aldean even in raised on country by chris young uh he said he's got a honky tonk attitude from joe diffie Honky Tonk Attitude. I remember hearing that song too from my dad because I remember it sounded just like Boot Scootin' Boogie by Brooks and Dunn. And then after all that news, we get the news that John Prine is in the hospital with freaking COVID and uh, is in severe critical condition. If there is someone who's songwriting, I can point to and say, that's the type of specific, mundane, humorous, heartfelt writing I love. It's John Prine's. I found out about him when I first heard Angel from Montgomery. Make me an angel. The flash from Montgomery. And ever since then have been in love with John Prine. He's got those same aspects of, of specificity that I always talk about on this channel. People that, you know, like Guy Clark or Laurie McKenna really put into their music. That's so Prine-ish. Or Iris Dement, one of my favorite singers. Him and I, I just talked about him and Iris Dement with their song, In Spite of Ourselves, on the Love Song video. In spite of ourselves, we'll end up sitting on a rainbow. And then when I heard that he was in critical condition, I just was like in a sour mood. And it's hard to talk about all the good new music that there is, because there is good new music. And there's all these fun live streams happening and whatnot, but I don't know, I just want to take a beat and feel sad. In the words of Terry Clark, I just want to be mad for a while. I am trying to pass the time in good ways, I'm trying to freaking play the guitar. I've been doing Fender Plays lessons, learning, you know, some, some basic, I'm on the country path and just learning some basic, like, picking patterns, like nine to five. I mean, really impressive stuff. I've always known how to, like, play the guitar, but I'm just trying to kind of go back to the basics and really learn, but... If you want to learn, they're offering free lessons for three months if you go to Fender Play. Been doing that. I've been doing all the same stuff everyone else does. You know, Virginia went into a uh, uh, stay-at-home order. It was issued today by our governor till June 10th. And that just hit me kind of like a ton of bricks today because I, I just feel so confused about all this. You know, I feel like everyone else, I feel confused. Um, on the one hand, I've been being... A very good boy. Been washing my hands. I've been isolating and I just staying here in my house with my roommates. And then um, sometimes, though, it feels like, are we? Is this an overcorrection? Are we going to destroy our economy? And then that's going to cause an even worse problem. And people aren't going to be able to put food on the table. And and I get confused. And you know, I feel like none of us. It's so hard to understand the world. It's like we're all looking at it through a straw. And we just see things through the particular prism that we choose to look at the world through. And for me, that's often country music. You know, I really hyper-focus on country music in my life. And that's where all of the problems of life, I kind of get my taste of them. And so some days I'm feeling like, oh my gosh, my friends in Nashville, artists that I care about are filing for unemployment and have no idea how they're going to make ends meet and are having to fire their tour managers or their crew. And now those people don't have a job and can't put food on the table and can't provide the life that they wanted for their families. And so I'll be like, this is crazy. But then you get snapped back into reality when someone like Joe Diffie dies, when someone like uh, John Prine is in the hospital with the virus. And you're like, no, we're, we're doing the right thing. It's just a sucky situation. And so I just, I feel confused too. And sometimes it feels like we're not allowed to feel confused. Part of that's that like, you know, I got a ton of friends that work in construction and essential business and their attitude is really different than my, you know, white collar friends that, 
you know, are able to work from home. And so it's just a confusing time and it's confusing within country music. And I'm going to continue trusting the people that know more about things than I do, continue washing my hands, continue isolating and um, hoping that this freaking thing passes and that we can get back to normal uh, because weeks like this, when we're losing legends and there's no end in sight to when the industry gets back on track, those suck. So anyway, I just wanted to give some thoughts on Joe Diffie and Jan Howard and um, Kenny Rogers and Prine and just talk. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Live stream with Ashley McBride. Bye.